Beneath a quiet forest lies the remains of a city that once thrived centuries ago, unseen by human eyes for nearly 200 years. Recently, however, something changed dynamically. A drone flew over a site in South Africa, and what it found was incredible. Using lasers that can see through trees, researchers uncovered hundreds of stone compounds and walls, the ruins of a lost African metropolis. This is the story of Quenen and how modern technology is rewriting African history once again. What up African world, it's Home Team here and welcome back to another video of African history, culture, and worldview. My team and I have been doing our best to include animation and motion graphics in our videos. It takes a lot of effort and resources to do animation, and so with the support of our patrons, we can continue working with Playwatch, the studio producing these animated videos. This channel cannot continue producing this kind of animated content without your continued Patreon support. Additionally, if you're interested in your own animated content and would like to work with Playwatch, their link along with Patreons is in the description box below. Located just outside of Johannesburg, Quenen is one of Southern Africa's most fascinating archaeological sites. For generations, these lands were thought to be little more than open bush, but the sagacity of local people, archaeologists, and historians knew better. Early oral traditions from Tswana peoples spoke of vast, forgotten towns, centers of cattle, wealth, and vibrant community. In the 1800s, European visitors described them as cities and metropolises, and now, modern LIDAR surveys at Quenen confirm these African memories all the more. The people who lived here were apparently part of the Tswana ethnic group, and they didn't just build homes, they built a society. This city reportedly had organized roadways, stone-walled neighborhoods, and large crawls, cattle enclosures, that reflected wealth and prestige. So how was this discovered? Through the forest, the overgrowth, and the centuries of decay? The answer is LIDAR, light detection and ranging. Mounted on a drone, this system fires thousands of laser pulses per second at the ground. Most bounce off of leaves and branches, but some actually make it all the way to the earth below. From those returns, researchers can digitally denude the forest, revealing what lies below. LiDAR technology has been used to map ancient Mayan cities, but this time it helped rediscover an African metropolis. Led by archaeologist Dr. Kareem Sadar and his team, the scans revealed what was previously hidden nearly 800 homesteads, thousands of people. One may call it an African metropolis. Quenen, believed to have been settled around the 15th century, was no small village. Based on the scale of the ruins, scholars estimate it supported between 5,000 and 10,000 people at its peak. That's comparable to medieval towns outside of Africa in the same era. The city had structured road systems up to 10 kilometers long, massive enclosures for livestock and defensive stone walls. Quenen wasn't just a peaceful village, it was a planned city. This wasn't just a place to survive, it was a place where Africans had clear seasons of thriving. Some historians suggest that the collapse of trade routes, climate shifts, or even internal conflict may have led to its decline. But here's what's important, it was never destroyed. It was simply forgotten, covered by time and bias. And this raises a deeper question. How many more organized settlements like this lie hidden across the African continent? What lies beneath the Sahara, the Congo Basin, the Sahel? For centuries, colonial authorities, anthropologists, and philosophers painted Africa as the dark continent, a place void of civilization, complexity, or history a people group incapable of sound reason. But findings like Quenen expose that ethnic ignorance. They show us that Africa wasn't in the dark. It was simply overshadowed, its stories buried beneath centuries of erasure. Now, with every drone flight and every laser scan, we're peeling back that shadow, one city at a time. 
There is still so much to discover in Africa, and what makes it even more exciting is that modern technology is helping us do it. Drones, LiDAR, digital mapping, these aren't just tools, they're keys. Keys to unlock the brilliance, the architecture, and the complexity of African societies long forgotten, belittled, or ignored. Every time we uncover a site like Quenen, we challenge the idea that Africa was silent and we remind the world of the brilliant African minds that lie beneath the soil. Well, I'm all out, guys. If you like these videos and want to help in its continued production, support the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace.